What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. Today's video is gonna be short but very entertaining. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna to try to disable a running lawnmower with our Full Auto 458 SOCOM. All right, so here's our push mower. Let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah. That runs good. Before we blast this thing, I'm gonna put it through a few tests, but before we do that, I wanna say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. As you can imagine, videos like this are not cheap, so I'm really thankful for companies like Sportsman's Guide who sponsor videos. If you ever need anything that would be considered outdoor recreation, they have everything that you could possibly need and they always have a lot of great deals. If you decide to check them out, make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTICS. It'll get you $20 off any order that's $100 or more. So first, I wanna see if this thing can handle some heavy mowing. So I've got a few eggplants and, uh, well, I think you know where I'm going with this. Nobody likes eggplant. Whoa, that was a really good kick. I should have put a camera over here so you could see all these eggplants shooting out the side. Where's that eggplant that I kicked? Found it, and I found another one in the back of my truck. Okay, let's do that again. to get rid of eggplant. And now let's try one more thing. Boop. It's watermelon time. <laughs> we killed the mower. Round two. Well, that's enough testing. Let's get this thing running and then shut it down. I don't feel like I should have to say this, but I'm going to anyways. I'm a trained professional on a private shooting range under the supervision of professionals in a controlled environment. Please do not try anything you see in this video. Now that that's out of the way, we've got our lawnmower set up. We have our CMMG MKW-15 chambered in 458 SOCOM. It's topped off with a Vortex Crossfire and we're loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 458 SOCOM, 300 grain match solids. did not take long, did it? <laughs> Before we shoot it again, let me show you the initial damage. So it looks like we hit here, 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 and several hits down here. Stopped pretty quick, and uh, I'd say that's why. <laughs> oh my, check that out, that is awesome. Jeez, I think we busted up the other side too. Golly. We busted this side too. Okay. We've got to shoot it at least one more time. <laughs> All right, let's see how it looks now. Seems like a few of those shots went down low. Oh man. Check that out. There's one of the rounds. And there's another one. 
That one's still in really good shape. Look at this. <laughs> Nice. It's like a sling blade. Mm, what you got to eat in there? Got any biscuits and mustard? Mm. Well, today's video went about like I thought it would. It was short lived, but I had a ton of fun. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. YouTube doesn't always notify you when I upload new videos. The bell doesn't always work, but at least you tried. If you want to support Kentucky Ballistics, the easiest way to do that is by checking out my clothing. There's a link in the description down below that'll take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. And for more content, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitter. Links to those can also be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. As always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time. Oh gosh, definitely gonna wanna sanitize that sign now.